Hello everyone. In this video we will explain the steps you should follow once you have your controller connected to your machine. You must first determine if you are using any slaved axis. It is very common that Y axis uses two motors. Therefore, usually the A axis is slaved to the Y axis. If so, then go to Config, Slave Axis, and choose Axis to be slaved, and click OK. In this case, we just have one motor per axis. You must then verify the direction of the motor and make any change if necessary. We can see the y-axis is running in the wrong direction. Go to config, ports and pins, motor output, Click on Direction Low for the Y axis, click Apply and OK. Now you must set the steps per unit for your machine. The easiest way is to set axis to zero, go to Settings tab, Click on the steps per unit, pick axis to calibrate, click OK. Type the amount of units you want to move and click OK. We recommend to use a small number to get a rough calibration and repeat the process with a higher number for more precision. Have the e-stop at hand. Measure the units moved and enter them in the box and click OK. This will automatically set the steps per unit for your machine, then click Yes to accept. Click OK to confirm. You may notice the speed for the axis is different. You can adjust this by going to the motor tuning. In the selected axis, set velocity and acceleration of your preference and save axis settings and click OK. Follow the same procedure for Y, Z and any other axis. It is also very important that before you run a G-code you have set the proper units millimeters or inches in the bottom right corner of the settings tab. And finally, let's test the spindle. Everything working fine. Now, let's throw a G-code and see how it works.
great. Everything working fine. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check our videos and tutorials in our website and YouTube channel. Thanks.